Memories cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Hey guys, what's up, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Amanda, and I'm so glad that you're here. Make sure you subscribe before you leave. Today, as you see we are in the car again and you guys know what that means we are doing another inside the dressing room today we're going to be doing it inside the dressing room at Maurice's I know a lot of you haven't tried Maurice's but I really like them they do have straight size and they also carry plus size their straight sizes go up to an XXL which I'm a 16 18 so I can fit in a lot of their regular straight sizes and they do carry plus size in the store and so obviously I can fit into the plus size let's go ahead and go into Maurice's and see what they have for spring and summer Here I was showing you the things I'm going to try on. I was actually able to find quite a lot of things that were new in the store for spring and summer. So let me go ahead and show you what I tried on. First top that I tried on was super, super cute. I'm really into this whole button detail trend that's going on right now. I really like this top. It kind of reminds me of like a peasant, you know, like in the olden days. I'm watching the Tudors right now, but it is really, really flowy. I love that it has vertical stripes. I love the color. It's not really white. It's like more of a cream color. And then it has like this really pretty, like off the shoulder kind of detail going on. The only thing I can say is the strap on this top does not like to actually stay up. I feel like it, the strap is a little bit too far over for me and it kind of just like keeps falling down. I feel like the strap needed to be sewn a little bit closer to like my neck. But other than that, this top was really cute. The sleeves were really like billowy. I really liked it a lot, except for I didn't like the whole little cold shoulder thing. I feel like you could totally take those off. The peasant top was in a size two and it was $34. Has anybody else noticed the whole tropical thing that's going on right now? It's very, very big, the tropical like palm leaf kind of trend that's going around. I really, really like it. I never used to like it, but this year I really started to like it. I think it's because I went to Hawaii and like everything that I bought kind of had this kind of pattern on it. This top right here is a black kind of flowy top. It is not a really stretchy fabric, but it is stretchy like on around the neckline so when it goes off of your shoulders. The only thing is, is I feel like it kind of ride, like it was gonna ride up a little bit. It didn't have like that silicone stuff that kind of keeps it down, but it doesn't look bad if it does come up a little bit. You would probably wanna wear this with a strapless bra in my opinion. And I feel like you could pair this with like a nice pair of black pants, some jeans. It's like a very easy, like casual look I feel like. I like the sleeves a lot, they come to just below my elbows, which I like that length. But just keep in mind that it's not made of like a stretchy fabric. So if you are big chested or a little bit bigger than me, I am wearing this in a size two and it was $34. I believe they go up to a size four in Maurice's. The next top we have is also in that whole tropical kind of trend that's going on. But this one is a little bit different. It is a pattern mix, which I really like. It has black and white stripes going horizontal. And then on the side, it has a little hint of like a nice little flirty cold shoulder. And then it does have the nice tropical like leaf pattern going on on the arms, which I think is really cute. It gives it a nice little touch of something else. I do love a good pattern mixing. It does have like the little horizontal kind of like baseball tee kind of stripes on the arms, which I think is a cute detail. It is a little bit longer in the back, which I like because you could definitely wear it with leggings and you don't have to worry about like your butt showing just in case your leggings are see-through. I was wearing this in a size two. I'm not exactly sure of the price. I'm pretty sure it was only $34, but there was no tag on this top and I forgot to go check the tag. The next top that I tried on was this really pretty like cream top. It does have like striping on it. I'm not sure if you can really tell. And then as you can see, it does have the lace, which I love lace. I think lace is so classic and so pretty. I think that lace adds a really nice feminine detail to any kind of top. I think you're definitely gonna wanna wear something underneath this top because as I said, it is see-through. So maybe like a white camisole or maybe like a white bralette would they be really cute underneath it. Next up, I decided to pair that white top with a really cute kimono. This one reminds me of like India. It gives me like that whole vibe of like the pattern on it. I think it's really cute. It has like a really nice red detail in it. I'm not big on red. I don't have a whole lot of red in my wardrobe, but I think this is really cute. It is made out of like that sheer kimono fabric. I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but it's made out of that fabric that most kimonos are made out of. So it's not stretchy at all. 
I feel like it was definitely pretty flowy. I did get this in a size 2-3 and I think that I definitely could have sized down to a 1 or 0-1. You can throw a kimono over top of a tank top and then there you go, you have a look. You're comfortable but you're also a little bit covered up. It was in a size 2-3 and it was only $34 which I think is a really nice price point for a kimono. And then the top was also in a size two and was also $34. The oh. next thing that I tried on was something that I was really excited. I love this whole trend that they have going around with like the tie front tops. I think they are so adorable. I decided to try on this gray tie front top that has button details going down. That button details are my favorite, but they are also my enemy. Because I am very big chested, I do have a size 40F in my chest. So it's really hard for me to wear anything that's buttoned down. So when they have a faux button, that is my jam. This one is not a faux button, it is real buttons. So it does pucker at the chest. I did pair it with these shorts. Now, I really like the shorts that Marie says. I feel like they are really, really nice. These are their Bermuda shorts, and I love the distressing on them, but I love that the distressing has a patch underneath, which they do a lot at tour, which I really appreciate. I really love distressing, but I don't really love distressing that doesn't have the patches behind it because then you put your foot through it, which is such a pain. So I think these shorts are really, really cute. They're a really great length. I'm really not into short shorts. I don't like my legs getting the chub rub and rubbing together. I don't think it's very comfortable. So I love a Bermuda short. That's my go-to short. They are in a size 18. So like I said, I did gain a little bit of weight. The shorts aren't too expensive. They're $44, which I think is a little bit less expensive than Torrid. I think Torrid shorts start at $48. I would say that they are around the same quality as Torrid, but a little bit cheaper. The next shorts that I tried on, also another Bermuda short. They were in a nice like medium, washed denim shorts look really similar to those other ones the distressing is just a little bit different the inseam is a little bit shorter on these ones but they think they're still a nice length for a bermuda short they're really comfortable but as i said there is no stretch in these ones either i'd say definitely keep that in mind if you're going to get these shorts maybe size up one size and then i think they'll be a little bit more comfortable i don't think they're really going to stretch because they're not made out of like any stretchy fabric they're like that real denim and next outfit was my most favorite outfit that i actually tried on this top and kimono were actually paired together on a mannequin and i saw it and i thought it was really really cute so i decided to pair these two together and show it to you guys i really like this kimono it's black and it has like the leaf detail on it and it's really flowy. The top I paired with it is actually a tank top. And for some reason, I got this in a size zero, not paying attention, but as you can see, it does fit me. It's definitely tight, but it doesn't feel tight on. And it is very, very, very stretchy. It is a faux button, which I really, really like. As I said, I am big chested, so faux buttons work best for me. Then I paired it with these Bermuda shorts. These are seriously one of the best shorts I've ever tried on. I didn't just buy a bunch of shorts from Tord up in a haul really soon that I definitely would have picked these up. They are so comfortable. One of the most comfortable shorts I've ever tried on. They are a really great length. The only thing I can say is they don't have any distressing, which I, like I said, I do love a distressing on my shorts. It just kind of gives it a little bit of something extra in my opinion. But even though they didn't have a distressing, I really liked them a lot. These ones actually did have stretch in them as like I said, the other ones didn't have any stretch. These ones were very, very stretchy, which I liked a lot. And I think I might go back and pick these shorts up because they were so comfortable. So if some of the toward ones that I bought don't work out, I'm definitely gonna go back. They were in a size 18 and they were only $34 for these shorts, which is like crazy to me. Like, are you serious? They were way more comfortable than the shorts that were $44. So $34 for a pair of shorts I think is a really good deal. I have the kimono, which was in a size 2-3, which I definitely could have sized down. It wasn't tight or anything. The next thing that I tried on was actually a dress. I really like this dress on the hanger, but as you can see when I tried it on, it does have real buttons and it actually was really, really tight. It was in the straight sizes, so sometimes I can actually wear straight size stuff in Maurice's, they do go up to an XXL, which I believe is a 16-18 in their straight sizes. And so sometimes I can wear stuff it ha if it has stretch in it. But this one, as you can see, is very, very tight. The buttons are all over the place and it is not cute. So if you are smaller than me, this dress was really cute. It was actually stretchy, you can't really tell. It was an XXL and it was $44. This next dress was also in the straight sizes and it actually fit me pretty good, except for the chest. There's like that little seam that goes underneath your chest. A lot of times when clothing items have that little seam, it never fits my chest because I am so big chested. So I really want to go online and see if this dress is actually available online. It may be in plus size because they didn't carry it in the store in plus size. I love the little ruffle detail on the side. It kind of like flowed out. It kind of gives me that whole boho chic kind of 
vibe that I see everybody wearing and I love it so actually stretchy but as I said it just didn't have enough fabric in the chest area for me and I really like the length of it so it was a little bit shorter than I normally go I like to go normally below my knee but this one came right above my knee it was in a size XXL and it was $34 the next dress that I tried on, they had a lot of pieces that were in that boho trend that's going on, which I really like, but I never ever buy stuff that goes, it just never really looks right on me. But they did have this dress, which was like a crochet kind of on the top. And then it had like a really pretty, like flowy bottom to it. The only thing I can say is the top was really, really weird. The top was just held up by just a string, which was like kind of like a halter, which I did not like at all. Like if that string broke, like that's it, the dress is done. I don't know, I just don't feel like that's constructed that nice. I think that this dress could have been way cuter if they would have done something different with the whole neck detail, but I think that's kind of like the whole boho kind of style is like simplistic. The back was a smock waistband, which I like. Smock waistbands always work best for me because I am wider like on top and in my back. And it wasn't super, super flattering, but I don't think it was like horrible. I think it came up high enough to where like my back rolls weren't like popping out like biscuits. It was lined too, which I liked. Did have pockets, which made me kind of sad, but not all dresses can have pockets. But if this is totally like your vibe, it's like very ethereal, I really love it. I think paired with one of those little wicker baskets with some like nice little shoes, this could be so stinking cute. It's like wear, I don't know, I kind of feel like paired with like a jean jacket would be so adorable too. You could wear it to like go have lunch by the ocean. The last dress that I tried on is actually really similar to the one that I tried on before this. It is also in that white color, but this one's a little bit different. It's definitely more form-fitting in my opinion. It definitely has a better construction on the neckline. It doesn't have just that string, but it is stretchy. It does have like a stretchy waistband. I love the whole ruffle that it has going down on the bottom of the skirt. I'm not a huge fan of the fit of this dress on my body type. I prefer things to kind of flow out. This one's kind of like more form fitting and straight. So I don't feel like it really is good for like my apple shape. It was in a size XXL, so it was in the straight sizes. about Maurice's is even if they don't carry it in a store they do carry a lot of things that they carry that are in straight size they also carry it in plus size which I love I like that we don't always have to have completely separate styles and different clothes I feel like it's really cool that they're actually doing the same style in a straight size and in a plus size that's really cool and then they kind of alter the fit a little bit for a curvy body which I think is really nice I love Maurice's a lot I will definitely have everything linked down below of all the things that I tried on for you guys I always try to link everything if I can find it and if I can find any of those pieces that were straight size, if I can find them in the plus size, I will definitely have those linked also. I didn't actually pick up any of the stuff that was in this try-on video, but I did pick up a few things that were on clearance that are going to be coming up in a future collective haul. So keep your eyes out for that. I'll show you the few things that I did buy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment down below what was your favorite item that I tried on. If you're not subscribed yet, you should be. I post here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Go ahead and also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is AmandaYasmin89. I post there every single day about plus size fashion and makeup. So if you don't get enough of me here on my YouTube channel, then definitely go ahead and follow me over there on Instagram. I will see you in my next video. And as always, remember, be your own kind of beautiful. And toodles for now.